In this video today, I'm going to go over very quickly how I assembled this filament rack made from PVC tubing and PVC connectors. Just a quick and easy way to organize your filament um, so that you can get to it uh, quickly and easily. Uh, when I, Of course, when I first started out, like everybody, I started out with a couple of rolls. It wasn't a big deal. But as you print, you accumulate different uh, materials and different colors of filament you have to be able to get to. Uh, quickly and easily. So this is a cheap rack that I made. It's very sturdy and it works awesome. Okay, now I'm going to go through the assembly process for uh, putting together the filament rack. You're really going to need uh, three basic components. You're going to need a three-way T, you're going to need just a regular T, and then you're going to need uh, PVC tubing. Now I use three quarter inch tubing because I just felt it would be nice and strong. Technically, I guess you could use half inch if you wanted to. Uh, tubing comes in two different varieties. Um, you could either use uh, thin wall tubing, which is used for like sprinkler pipes. Uh, I use the schedule 40 tubing, which you can see is quite a bit thicker. Uh, it just makes it a lot stronger. If you want to use a wide rack, the racks won't bend as easily as they will with the thin wall tubing. And when you go to hammer the connections together, the, um, the Schedule 40 tubing just holds inside the connector really, really well once you hammer it together. They're actually pretty hard to get apart. I didn't glue anything together. You don't really need to. This way you can disassemble it at some point in the future or uh, you can add uh, other levels. I actually started off with a with a four level rack and I added, a, I added one more level, which was nice. I could just tap it apart, make the extra pieces and add another level. So um, those are the three components you need. And I'll go through here in a second how you put it all together. But basically you're gonna need, uh, once you've you know, got your tubing and your connectors, you're gonna need four of these connectors for the bottom, these three-way, and you're gonna need four for the top. So you're gonna need at least eight of those connectors. And then you'll need four of these connectors for each level of the uh, racks in the middle. So racks, you know, for me, I had five racks. So rack uh, two through four, um, I use these just the regular T's and you need four. So I, that would be 12. So I need eight so for my rack. I needed eight of these and 12 of these. Um, these are about two bucks a piece at, at, uh, at Lowe's. And I got these, I got two bags of 10 uh, for, I think there were five bucks for a bag of 10. The uh, Schedule 40 tubing was, I think three bucks for uh, an eight foot uh, section. And I got a, a few of those. So, I mean, altogether, the thing was like 30 bucks uh, to build and put it together. I didn't have to use any glue. Um, one other thing is before, once you cut your tubings, um, there's, there's three different lengths you're going to need for this. For the width, we're going to need a 9 centimeter. For the height, you'd need a 21 centimeter. And then for my width, um, I made it 34 centimeters. But really, the width, you can make um, however long you want. You want to make it 1 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet wide probably getting four feet, it probably is gonna to start to bend in the middle, so I'd probably keep it three feet or less. Um, the other things, once you've got all your tubings cut, is to take uh, some acetone here and with uh, just some paper towels and rub off all of the, um, uh, all the markings on the, on the tubings. Uh, I waited, I was an idiot, and I waited till the end and um, did it after it was assembled, it was a pain in the ass. And you just really learned that if you do this now, um, first of all, it's a lot easier to take it off and it comes out a lot cleaner. Just make sure you use enough, um, enough, uh, and you'll see it comes off on the rag right there. So we want to use it, go, go back with a clean one and make sure you don't have any of that purpley residue. But you can see it really makes it nice and clean. I recommend doing this before you assemble. But make sure it dries well enough because um, if you uh, put that while it's still in wet and you put the connectors together, it'll actually stick. So let's go through uh, the assembly process. So like I said, for the bottom, you're going to need four of the four of the uh, three-way T's. So I've got four of those. That's one, two, three. I've got four of the, th the three-way T's. And then you're going to need um, nine millimeters to go for the width. And then you're going to need, in my uh, case, I use 34, so I'll go 34 millimeters. I'm going to widen this up a little bit so we get the whole thing in here. Okay, so you need 34 for the length, 9 millimeters for the width here, and um, we'll use another 34 here. 
which will go right here. Another nine millimeter across there. So that's basically the bottom level. And we'll, we'll tap all this together in a second. So the bottom and the top are exactly the same. So you'd need um, whatever, you need four at least on the bottom and four of the three way tees on, on the top. So let's go ahead there together and, and hammer these together. So I recommend building them one level at a time and then stacking the levels. So let's uh, build the sides first. So you need your nine centimeter, nine centimeter. We're gonna hammer that in there like that. Put that in there like that to make sure that they're square to each other. I lay them on the table like that, kind of push them together, lay them on the table to make sure, on a flat surface to make sure they're pretty square. And then I'm gonna take uh, my dead blow hammer. Yeah, you could really use a rubber mallet if you want. I don't recommend using a regular hammer because you could damage the plastic. And then basically just hammer those together. Okay, so then we've got one of the sides. And then I take the other one. Again, make sure it's nice and square. And then you've got your two sides. Okay, you've got your two sides. Now, um, like I said, this is, I'm using 34 centimeters, but you could really use any, any length that you wanted here. Put that in there. We stick our other tubing in here at the end. And see if I'm going to be able to get this in the camera here. Kind of push it down. And then before I hammer it, stick it on a flat surface and make sure all four tops are square to each other. And now, now I can hammer it in. Let me see if I can make this any wider here. I guess that's as wide as it's gonna go. Okay, so now our, make sure those are all tapped together, are nice and, are they're square and they're flat. So now we've made our bottom level. Now we go to make our, our, our next level. Okay, so now we're gonna start the, the second level. So let's move this aside. So we need four connectors and then we need, um, four 21 uh, millimeter tubings, which are gonna go here, 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 and here. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna tap those into place. And you can see, as I'm building this, I'm using the thin wall tubing because this is just for example, and it's uh, the schedule 40 is too hard to pull apart. So um, so now I've got my, my four, um, Height tubings in place. So now I'm going to go together and put together my side pieces. So all I need here is a um, a T, my 34 millimeter tubing, and my other T right here. Again, lay them on the table so they're so you make them square to each other, and then we're just going to tap them in place. Let's see if we can you can hear when it's, when it's when it's in place. Then we're going to sit that on top of there for right now. And we're gonna put another T together here. Again, kind of squeeze them together and then lay them flat on the table to make sure that they're square to each other. And put them together. So now we're basically, right now, we're just gonna go and put our next two tubings together. And then from there, you just, just hammer them in place. Then you're ready to go up and just go from level to level to level. Okay, so the only difference is when you get to the top, you're going to make it just exactly like the bottom. You're going to put together a uh, piece just like we made at the base for um, three-way connectors together with your um, 34 millimeter tubings or whatever tubing you decide to use uh, length. And then put that whole piece together and then hammer it together all at one time uh, from the top. And pretty much that's it. And there's your rack. Um, this is, uh, I could actually just take this on mine and add another rack just like that. Just all I need is two more 20 millimeter tubings in the bottom and stack just like that. I've got another rack. So anyway, so that's how I uh, kind of designed and put together the uh, filament rack, which costs probably around $30 or so. Um, to completely build it.
Okay, here's the rack in Fusion 360 that I kind of tested out the sizes and lengths in Fusion 360, and I did this by designing the uh, three-way T in Fusion 360 and the regular PVC in Fusion 360, and then uh, just created an assembly with everything together so that I could um, test out different lengths and different widths to see how the filaments would fit in there. But uh, anyways, just kind of th thought I'd throw that in there at the end.